Hear what the Bible says. This is God talking. God says, I will eat my sheep upon them. And I will spend my arrows upon them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God says he's going to what? He will be cheap upon them. And he spent his arrow. You know, God has his own arrow. We want to put against your enemy. We want to fight. What you no call yes or a coco and a little bit. In the of Jesus. God has his armory to destroy evil arrows. Armory is where you keep things of warfare. So the enemy has their armory. God also has his own armory. Because the Bible says he's a man of war. Oh no, you are no no coin. So on your way down, on the day, come from Amosi, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 25, confirm it. So at times, you have to call upon God, Lord, open your armory. Hey, open your armory and destroy my enemy. Because in his armory, there are different weapons. There are different weapons. And the weapons of the enemy cannot stand the weapon of God. Somebody who has listened to me, God will open his armory because of you. Amen. To fight and to defend you. Amen. Jeremiah 50, 25. The Lord has opened his armory and has brought forth the weapon of his indignation. For this is the work of the Lord, God of hosts in the land of the Shadia. Our God is Jehovah man of war. He has never lost any battle. I will not lose anyone. He has his armory, and he will destroy evil arrows and the ashes. The ashes, God that want to fire the arrow, God will destroy them. Amen. And I pray for somebody. May the Lord arise for you today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, Oh Lord, arise for me today. Amen. Open your armory and defend me Amen. with your weaponry. In the name of Jesus, God, arise for me today. Arise for me today. Arise for my family today. Open your heart because of me. Release your weapon of indignation against my enemy. Finish your arrow against them. In the name of Jesus. Say amen. We want to pray that God will scatter every of and every of our enemy with his arrow. Let us scatter them. Amen. God can scatter them with how wherever they can go against you. Against you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In 2 Samuel chapter 22, 22, 2 Samuel 22, verse 15. Hear what it says. And he sent out arrows and scattered them. <laughs> Lightning and discomfited them. So God has power to scatter your enemy with his own arrow. Ask him to scatter to pieces every common arrow, fire traveling against you and your family. Can you say, Oh Lord, oh, Lord. send your arrows and scatter my enemies? Open your mouth and pray. Lord, oh, send your arrow, send your arrow, scatter my enemy. We are ready and gathered against me, against my wife, against my children, against my establishment. Lord, send your arrow. And scatter them. Send your arrow. Scatter them. Send your arrow. Scatter them. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus, let me pray. You see, that evil arrow must go back to the center. Are you listening to me? It must go back. My body, your body, the body of our family member, will not will not assess any any evil arrow in the name of Jesus. Will not attract any evil arrow. Do not accept any guano in the name of Jesus. Amen. So if you don't send it back, it can prosper. So don't keep moods. This is not the generation that we keep silent. Are you listening to me? This is not the time we keep silent. This is time for us to pray against them. The enemy don't wish you well. They don't wish us well. Many people that you wish well don't wish you well. 
So you need to pray that God will return back their evil arrow against them. Can I pray for somebody? Evil arrow fashioned against you, against your family. Let it back fire. Amen. Let it back fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That evil arrow, the weapon they are using, they have been using before, it will not prosper again in your life. Amen. Any arrow fire against you, against your family, it will not prosper. Amen. Let us look at some types of arrow and we will pray. When I mention this type of arrow, I want to mention types of them, you begin to say, but fire. Because we don't have time. But not those arrows. You begin to pray. If you are witnessing any disfavor anywhere, it's an arrow. If you have some hunger, some people will just be annoyed angrily in the face of their helpers. It's an arrow for them to misbehave. Some people the, the fire arrow of failure, you are witnessing failure. It's an arrow. Some people that is an unexplainable ex problem, they can't explain how this sickness starts. They can't explain an arrow. Some people in their academics, they are just failing. They are making some errors and they are frustrated. Some people, the arrow, the enemy fire at them is near success syndrome. It will be a lead to, for them to achieve sources. The how we come. That's how we have fire. So this hour of joblessness. People that don't know how to work like them will be working. Will be getting work. People that don't that they are not experts will be getting job. But this these people, hour of joblessness is fire them and they will have no job. That hour we have fire. Hour of back, back upon life. I saw some children. Two of them of the same parents. They have learned a trade and they know the trade very well. One of them have worked for me before. But I just discovered that they are just vagabonds. They are working about endlessly. No house. One time I saw, what I said, ah, I've just got that money to rent an apartment. Up to now, no apartment. He was still squatting. His brother too was squatting. They, they are roaming about and they have a good job. I pray everyone that they have five hours of vagabond into their lives. Let the arrow go out in your name of Jesus. Both of arrow of insanity, arrow of poverty. So people is arrow of marital distress. In their marriage, no joy. It's an arrow. Arrow of suicidal tendencies. You just feel like killing yourself. Killing yourself. Committing suicide. It's an arrow. Arrow of addiction. You see some people they are addicted. Addicted to herbs, to smoking, to alcohol. Even when they are sick, they are addicted to an arrow. In a saloon, sometimes ago, where, where I cut my hair, a guy was telling me, he didn't know who I am, he was saying, ah, I want to die you, I want to die you. Eh? I've been smoking, I'm taking alcohol, and this thing wants to kill me. But I can't leave it. He has been diagnosed that he will soon die. And he said, I'll be coughing, I'll be coughing. I'll be coughing, and I'm feeling like taking it again. I want to go and take it. It's an addiction. What is killing him? He said, if I don't take it, I will not be able to sleep. Then I now pause. I say, that is an hour of fire against him. I pray for him. I say, he said, to the pastor, I'm feeling relieved. He said, I don't know. I know that this thing wants to kill me. And I'm still, I can't deliver myself from it. It's an hour. Hour of addiction. Some people are of shame problems. As another one, they are getting out of one problem, and that problem is getting, is, is, is preparing to, to, is warming up again. Some people, arrow of gynecological problem, they can't explain it. That needs to deal with their gene, with their blood, arrow of infirmity, arrow of hardship. Some people, is arrow of dream oppression. They can't close their eyes. They will be oppressed in their dream. Arrow of hatred. Many people can't explain why they hate them. People that are supposed to know them suddenly just develop hatred. They don't give them job. They don't give them, you know, no favor, no mercy. Out of paralysis. Some people from their sleep, they woke up and one, one, one hand, one leg is gone. Arrows of failure, arrow of death. Some people are just getting to one death after the other. This arrow will vanish in the name of Jesus. Amen. This hour for every child of God, you need to pray against it. That is hour of prayer paralysis. When they make sure that you can't pray again, then you are finished. It's an hour. Some of us, you can pray one hour, two hours before. When you hear prayer, you'll be happy. You see some people, even in prayer, when they come to church like this, 
to pray, they are gone. They are gone. This is an arrow. Because the enemy did not fear any Christian. Except the Christian no one has to go on his knee. So when you are going on your knees, when you are praying, the devil will be afraid of you. So that you, you can get hold of when they fire that arrow of uh, prayer paralysis, then you will not be able to pray. I want to pray for some of them. That arrow of prayer paralysis. Find that into your realm as you write it. Let me Leaking pockets are for you too. They will have money and they don't know how they spend it. As they are getting money, they just, I, I know I'll make it, but I don't know how to do it. That's how we leave you. Yeah. That's how we shape we leave you. Yeah. I'm of very talent. Very talent. They have talent, but their talents are buried. That's how we go out. We have of success, manipulation. Can we rise up? And begin to say, when I measure this house, you say, backfire in the name of Jesus. Hey, are you ready? Yes, sir. Everyone ready, outside and online. As you are praying and you are saying, backfire in the name of Jesus. You won't fire into your life, into the life of your husband, wife, or children, or any member of a family. As you are saying, backfire. What? In any way, it is your grandchildren. It is backfire in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Oh, 
It has happened to me. It has happened to me. When they fired arrow of that sickness into my life, I was hearing voices. I was just hearing voices. And I was asking, don't you have this one? Share, go with me. I was informed to them. Check what you want going. They don't hear. Everyone that you are hearing straight forces from the spirit from the spirit world, let that word stop with the name of Jesus. Amen. Then I'm not sudden depression upon your soul. I will have the day where I will have a swear is an hour. You feel depressed. You can't explain why you are depressed. Paralytic wind can blow upon someone. And what and what ten will be told a giant arrow, told a giant will a fete. I told us on Wednesday that somehow they pass through the wind of a human barrow of fete. So anyone that wants to blow a paralytic wind against you, let that evil wind pass fire. Hey, hey. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, now this is another symptom: cold, shield in a hot room. In a bagbono, you go to Tupa Mamu. You want to go to Tupa Mamu? I also made mention of the guy that I mentioned. Inside AC, he was feeling hot. That is another story of how I will you. The AC, people are running out of the room that this AC is too much. And he said, Yay, my body, my head, my head is hot. It's an hour. See physical idols. Some people will see physical idols. And some people, strange items will be found in their food or drink. Another symptom is strange bats, bats and bugs. In a lock up room, you don't want to pack, you just see strange bugs appearing. It's an hour. Somebody was in the city room, locked up, and strange bugs just appear. And yet they hold in the room. And yet. So those are symptoms that are now the fire. When you are seeing physical or spiritual snake, some people they will just be seen snake. At times it will come physically. It's an attack. It's an attack. It's an arrow. It will backfire. Yeah. <laughs> when you are being knocked in the head by strange hands, and remember when they come for late, one come little, somebody just knock him on the head. It's an attack. Like the lady I mentioned on Wednesday that she was sleeping and somebody just come and begin to beat her. On a sheep and a sheep swell up. That is an attack. When you are seeing yourself being forced with the food you don't like in your dream, when you open your mouth, you will get a party back. And because you don't have power, you can't get it. It's an arrow. When they force it into your body, then symptoms, different kind of sickness will begin to you know come up. Anyone that they are forced, forcefully fed you in your dream and do that. How do I have entered your body? Every food you have been forced to eat as you roll up three amen. Let the part of your mouth be the name of Jesus. Come out of your body the name of Jesus. Many people they see themselves being molested in their dream. Before they sleep, they will be molested. It's an attack. Sex in dream. It's a terrible attack. It's a big one. I told us some times ago a woman that that she was being molested in dream in her dream. Anytime she's every day they will molest her, having sex in dream. So because of that, she will now wear about ten trousers of her husband. I will walk to I'm telling you the true life story. They will now use back wire to tie the Trousers, and I will see how this person is going to make it again. In the dream, it's happening. He will put it, and the man will come. Even when she, she's sleeping, she's on the bed with her husband, they will remove all the trousers. In the dream, and when he woke up, he will find all these trousers on the floor, and the senior on her bed. When she was narrating to me, I find it difficult to believe. But then, are, are you serious? Do you, do, uh, do, she's now uh, I, 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 our house was facing our church there, so they don't come to church. But when they have to become terrible in our cave, I said, Woman, are you sure that I can't like you? Poor my wash would be very very far back for my feet open day, my family day. That is about my new master, my way of my own. I will find myself molestation. 
the world is wicked. Anyone having such terrible attack, and you are under the sound of God through me, that molestation ends today. Some people, something will just be, you know, peppering in their body. Some at times I see somebody is, you know, putting pain in their body and they can't be able to see. If they come to this side, they will, will be crying, screaming. Talk to this side. There is no medication that can cure them. Can I pray for him? That stranger in your body, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, as you roar, say, Amen. The Bible says, as soon as they hear my voice, Stranger will submit a death of the devil to me. They will come out of their hiding. Every stranger in your body, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, as you rule as every living, let them go out of your body. Give your life to Jesus. Salvation is very, very important. Salvation. You want to give your life. Surrender your life to Master. To find that Christian. When I say give your life to Jesus, it's not you pretending. Let me tell you, a time is coming. Every pretenders will blame themselves. Go on top people. We are one one leg in. One blame around the So it's better you surrender your life. What are telling? So you have if you want to become Christian, be Christian. Christian. Because very soon you are going to blame yourself. If you don't give your life to Christ, I pray you don't be too late. So if you are listening to me, you are online, you are in your house, you are not giving your life, surrender your life to Jesus today. And say, Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life. Make me your home. Forgive me of my sin. Wash me clean. Today, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. If you can pray that simple prayer, then you forsake sin. Forsake the Then if you are having this experience, please go for deliverance. Cry for deliverance. Let's conduct deliverance of you. Don't, don't, don't package yourself. Don't package yourself that nothing is wrong with you. You know this thing is wrong, you have seen this symptom. Go for the deliverance. Then you need to plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus every day. And make sure you are living a consecrated life. Then do what fear. What did I say? Do what fear. Because you are in the world of war. You see that you are a victor or you are a victim. But by the grace of God, everyone under the Son of God through me will be victor and not victim. Amen. You see, this life is too short for someone to waste it for you. I hear you won't cool you. You get the cooler waste here. Are you listening to me? Yes. Don't allow anybody to waste your life. And um, this topic we are treating, they are used to waste a lot of life. A lot of life have been wasted. Then wait, not according to God's plan. It was an hour. Today we want to go and pray. That's how that is in your body. That's how they are planning to say we not prosper again. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Christ will your feet. The Bible says, and they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the words of their testimony and the love of their soul of today. You are going to sing this song. If you are who go back to your center, if you are who go back to your center, I want you to clap your hand very well. As you are clapping, that arrow is going out of your body. The one that has to be in the life of your husband, your wife, your children is going right as you are clapping your hand. Evil arrows go back to your
that is that receive an arrow and they are putting dead is too late. I was saying, I said, Daddy, when I was saying, Daddy, when you are singing this song, jump out, you jump out, any arrow in my body, jump out. I said, many people will be playing with this song, go. I said, it's a powerful song, go. That he needs to jump out. It's a prayer. In fact, when I saw that man, he narrated how the force of all fire, the first arrow into his, into his leg. And like pray, like pray, the first leg was amputated. Like pray, like pray. He said, I said, ah, we need to pray. You are going to sing that song. You are going to sing, jump out, oh, jump out. Jump out, oh, jump out. If you are going in my body, jump out. If you are going in my body, jump out. Jump out. Jump out.
Yeah. What you, when you ask them to repent, they don't have money. It's an arrow of poverty, but that arrow is leaving you. Say arrow of poverty. I am no longer your candidate. Your time is as expired. In my life, in my family, I am a poverty. In the name of Jesus. Oh, 
to buy your armor, armor sink. Every hour of sudden stoppage of your progress, of your business, for a, a progress, let that hour backfire in the name of God. When that tower of fatty sunny day, go on it. Out of that fall, what you go, okay, God, you are climbing and they want you to come down. What fell from my head, I want to be here. Every hour of that fall, fire at you. In the name of Jesus, fire, 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 In Jesus' name, let me pray. Amen. I want to say that to this because you are experiencing battle on God's side. Oh, good, good, good. Or what do you believe? Go where to believe? Every evil hour that say as you are coming out of one problem, another problem is submission. That arrow of terrible battle on all sides. Let it be fire in the name of Jesus. Arrow of terrible siege on the growth, spiritually and physically. Let that arrow be fire in the name of Jesus. Everyone that your body, you don't know how your body is functioning. Your body is not functioning. There is a sickness damaging your body, damaging your system internally, and you don't know. Oh, it's one day. What's in power? Go and la la. As you shut your eyes, you come and shut it. After you shut your hand, is not functioning. Even your eyes is not functioning. Your brain is not functioning. You have been losing. You are having memory failure. Oh, what's in for that? That one. Every arrow fired into your body, damaging your system. As you run, say, "Amen." Let that arrow jump out of your life.
He said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. The blood that when arrows from it, it will not reach you. It will just pass over. We need to pray the blood of Jesus. When you are I pray the blood of Jesus. In the physical, the dream. When you are sleeping, blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. When you are praying, pray the blood of Jesus. Pray the blood of Jesus. And get Jesus. And get Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Say us to all this water. The word says in the Isaiah chapter 24, verse 17. No weapon that is found against us shall prosper. And no tongue shall rise against us in judgment. You say you will condemn them. This is our heritage. And the servant of the Lord and the righteousness of God, this is our heritage. From today, any weapon of the enemy that is fashioned anywhere in the cold, in the in hell, or in any way against you, against me, that power will not prosper. Hey, hey. In the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. And I see from this prayer, the servant of no matter who you move, in the book given my dear said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. From today, the anointing of Toshno, let it be upon you. Hey, hey. Upon your wife, hey, hey. upon your husband, hey, hey. upon your children, hey, hey. upon me, hey, hey. upon this ministry. Hey, hey. In the name of Jesus, hey, hey. let the man of God for safety, hey, the man of God for prosperity, let it be upon you. Hey, hey. From today, I decree into your reign that what you lack, you will have that in surplus. Hey, hey. What you are trying now to have, and you are saying, when am I going to have it? Oh, school, if I will ever tell you, know, if you to it, then what you are crying for, let the Lord give it to you in abundance. Yes, yes. This month is a lot of abundant dream. And in the morning, when it's, it's uh, I mean, you see, in the morning or yesterday, yesterday, when it appears, it's not to win, I said, Lord, oh, this must rain. And it's more than an abundant dream. And no abuse, it was an abundant dream. The way we experienced abundant dream yesterday, everyone under the Son of God who me, abundant dream of favor, abundant dream of breakthrough, abundant dream of mercy, abundant dream of health, abundant dream of goodness. Now it's fall! How shall it be? And they are offering as soon as the command. When they say, bring it, they begin to bring it. Please don't delay to give your first books. Don't delay to give your tithes. And don't delay to plant your seed. Give your seed. And I told us, our seed this year was different. Look at me. God knows your need. He will take care of your need. But if you love money more than God, you may not get money. So anytime you have opportunity, you are called to sow, please let's sow it sharply. It was going to be your all. You won't be disappointed. So what to give, let's give sharply. Rise up. Tomorrow is Saturday, the local next meet. And on Sunday, by the grace of God, we are going to meet in the church. Service start by nine. Everyone watch us on my journals for Sunday service. It shall be glory five. It shall be for the glory. It's going to be a, glor a glorious service in the name of Jesus. Yes, thank you. Tomorrow is our monthly prayer for our children called Voice of Mothers. It's going to be the first of its kind. Please do not mothers who will be angry. We are starting by six. So make sure that you are here. Bring your photos in your personal media. Make sure that you pray 
for your children. They are our glory. They will not wither in the name of Jesus. So, Voice of Wonder, our after birthday program every second Saturday comes from tomorrow. Shall we remember us in Jesus' name? Let the Lord bless our offering in the mighty name of Jesus. Your seed will bring a good harvest to you. Everyone giving online, giving on site, let the Lord bless you abundantly. Thank you, everlasting Father. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Jesus name. Shall we give three? Hallelujah to the most high. Let's go.